This is a breakdown of my time in Switzerland. I was there for like three weeks with my uncle Metin and my auntie Yuxa. And yeah, here's some highlights. So getting to Switzerland itself was a bit of a nightmare. My auntie and uncle decided to drive straight from a wedding to Switzerland. Final packing now. Just uh, saying goodbye to the to the village. This is a trip that they usually take. I wasn't really sure why, but I came to realize pretty quickly once we hit up the grocery store. So the fact that you can go with a car means that you can carry a lot of goods with you. Um, and with Turkey's exchange rate being so low, it makes it a lot cheaper than Switzerland. We are in Adana. Yarı yolda mıyız? At the final petrol station now, on the border of Turkey. I usually got put on border control duty just so Metin could sleep, and yeah, it was really boring. There was a town here then. This meant that I usually was super tired once we entered the next country, and as a result, I usually slept through most of the journey. I ended up sleeping through all of Bulgaria, so all I saw is the entry gate and now the exit the gate. Kai beni hayatımı kurtardı vallahi. Çok rahat geldim. 20 yılda fazla bu yolda gider gelir bir sefer böyle keyifli bir yolculuk geçirdim. Arkada uyuyarak, oturarak. Belgrad'dan <gülüyor> direkt. Belgrad. Sonra Hırvatistan. Hırvatistan'a girdiğinde Zagreb'e alacağız. Zagreb'e giderken Rüşbinya. Rüşbinya'da Solovanya'nın başkentidir. Solovanya'dan sonra Avusturya alacağız. Avusturya'ya giderken sonra Almanya alacağız. Almanya'ya girdikten sonra tekrar Avusturya ve Şvays. The most tiring border control was definitely going from Serbia to Croatia, purely because that was the border of the EU. And so that ended up taking around about five hours. And as a result, I slept through all of Croatia. <laughs> now in Slovenia, I yet again slept, slept again. And after a quick lunch break, we thought we'd get straight back on the road and head directly to Switzerland. There was highway repairs in Germany, which led to really long wait times and a big detour in our road. In the end, the journey took a total of 42 hours and it was completely exhausting, but a good experience. My auntie and uncle live in the northeast city of St. Gallen in Switzerland on the border of Austria and Germany. My first few days were really spent walking around their house, exploring the region and getting to know the beauty of Swiss nature. This is just beautiful. And this is just a random walk around my auntie's house. This isn't some set national park or something. It's just beautiful and the people here are so friendly. Everyone says hello when you walk past them and are smiling. Yeah, it's really refreshing compared to Gaziantep. <laughs> If you look at my uncle and auntie's house on the map, the lake next to it just looks like something that is just there. You know, you wouldn't go there as an attraction, but it was just incredible just walking past it. It just felt like a picture or a movie. <laughs> I 
I also got to spend time with my, my niece and nephew, Sinan and Media, which are the children of my cousin, Rezan. Uh, we hadn't seen each other for a good, like, 10 years. So it was a really good catch up. And yeah, I really enjoyed my, my time with him. The classic routine which we had at the time was also playing OK, which is this traditional Turkish board game, usually played by guys at cafes. I don't really know how to explain it, but you have to order numbered chips. There's an OK, like a joker. Anyway, we played this a lot, usually with a glass of whiskey. I did get smacked up most of the time, but it was still pretty good fun. And whilst at Chola's house, he also made sure to show me his epic garage. Kind of close to my uncle's house was this place called Rainfall, which uh, we went to together. Really strong currents, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like it's kind of like the knockoff Niagara Falls. After checking it out, we decided to go upstream to swim in the water. We ended up having a, a pretty chill time, um, having some sausages or... Um, what do they call them again? And we just enjoyed each other's company, chatting about life. I don't know if my uncle will be happy with me explaining this, but this is live video footage of us uh, not paying for parking that day. The following day, we went to the Austrian Turkish Embassy, which was the closest one available to us, to do a few jobs there. And on the way back, we kind of visited this really interesting region, which was the middle ground between Switzerland, Austria, and Germany. Cave, dude, cave. On this pier here, this is Germany. This is Austria. And we're currently in Switzerland. I mean, Switzerland, the main thing that just struck me was how green and beautiful everywhere is. Even, you know, seemingly mundane cities, when you look at on a map, just have incredible scenery. One really big highlight for me was going to Sealpsi, which is a semi-hike up to this really cool ravine between mountains. And so we did that with Cholo and his family. And once you got to the top, the pictures and views were just ridiculous. Literal heaven. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Ooh. We also had Bratwurst here as well. I was really lucky in my first week because the weather was great. Sunny, clear skies, no rain. This is just messed. Like, how is this real? I guess my time in Switzerland can kind of be broken up into two parts. The first part was when I had less commitments and the weather was really good and then the second part where i had a lot more commitments and the weather was not so good so for the second part we couldn't really go outside as much and at the same time my commitments with regards to interviews for work increased exponentially we're waiting for another meeting um maybe my final one but and so that meant it was more so spending time with the family indoors whether that was learning backgammon um helping out with the cooking or spending time with the kids <laughs> over this time i also got to drive and see a tesla for the first time in my life uh through my cousin adam yeah over the the last few days it was really wholesome so it was you know celebrating my auntie's birthday <laughs> before packing and heading back home um to see the family in a rushed manner. But yeah, super grateful for my time with Metin and Yuxel. Thank you for having me. It was super fun and really felt like a part of the family whilst I was there. <laughs> About to board my flight to Musket now. It feels pretty crazy. The end of my extended trip away from friends, family, I'm reminiscing on the past six, seven months. I don't know what to think right now. Maybe some time on the plane will help me process it, but... Yeah.
that was pretty much the end of my time in Turkey, the start of my time in Switzerland, the end of my time in Switzerland, and now the start of my time back in Australia. I'm now back home, and yeah, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.